I think the UK government need to look a little bit more wider field to see what other examples are in place. I was in Germany last year and I told that the government out there, they do it, have a much bigger incentive. They say, you want solar panels? Here's an interest-free loan. And for every kilowatt that you produce, we'll pay you five times the going rate for each kilowatt. Hermann Scheer MP is one of the main reasons Germany is doing things differently. I had a question. The question was, what is the non-fossil alternative to nuclear energies? Because there is no doubt fossil energies will run out. The question was, why should it not be the renewable energy potential? And most people, including um, environmental activist answered the potential would not be enough and I didn't believe that. I didn't believe that and then I started to make my own research and um, my finding was it would be enough, by far enough. <laughs> Freiburg in southwest Germany became a key center of the renewable energy movement. Both industry and research institutes specializing in photovoltaics based themselves here. The outward signs, offices, homes and schools with solar paneled roofs justify Freiburg's title, Solar Capital of Europe. Josef Pesch runs Fessa, a company dedicated to small scale and community investment in renewable energy. The whole thing started, I think, with the uh, first nuclear power station not built in Germany. And that, in a way, sparked a chain reaction because everybody in the scene agreed it's not enough to be against something. You want to do something positive. In a way, in Freiburg, you have this, this coming together of conservative in the real sense of the word. That is uh, from the Latin conservare, uh, to keep, to conserve and uh, progressive uh, Greens uh, who got together here. The German Environment Ministry has announced that over 200,000 people are now employed in the renewable energy industry. It produces 12% of its electricity from renewable sources, solar, wind, hydro and biomass, and growth in this sector is the highest in Europe. The incentive was the Renewable Energy Act of 1999. It simply sets out that you are given a fixed price for an installation that you build uh, uh, that is fixed for 20 years. Uh, that law was passed uh, in order to give small independent power producers a chance to get into that market and to sell their electricity at a decent price. The main architect of the German Renewable Energy Act was Hermann Scheer. The whole law has only three elements. First element is guaranteed access to the grid for each renewable energy power supplier, even when it is a very small one. Second, the guaranteed price, the guaranteed fee. And the third element is uh, no limitation for introduction, an open door. <laughs> 